I think it's a crime that the fossil fuel companies do this and it's a tragedy that the environmentalists are going along with it and thinking they're doing something good. So Don't you, get me started. I grew up in California in the Bay Area back in the 1970s. I worked with the Black Panther Party, did social justice activism. I had long hair and a beard, and I was an environmentalist, maybe above everything, and I really hated nuclear power. Then what happened is I had children. The idea that we're going to pass along a planet that's uninhabitable is just unthinkable to me. Why would we do that? And my son in particular hit me over the head for about a decade that I should really get working on climate change. My name is Solomon Goldstein Rose. I've always been a climate activist and I've made many of my major life decisions based on how can I best contribute as one person to solving climate change. How are we going to solve climate change? How can we actually get on top of this problem? It becomes pretty clear once you start looking at the numbers that it's almost impossible to do it without nuclear power. So that was my view. I don't like it, but we're gonna need it. Then I started to learn more about it, and I started to like it more. Nuclear power is the thing that we can scale up really quickly, clean energy, to take fossil fuels off the grid and head off climate change before it destroys us. So people worry about the risk of accidents with nuclear power, but in fact it's been by far the safest source of energy. Way safer than coal, way safer than methane gas, natural gas, or oil. Coal kills almost a million people every year, and so that's where you have danger. People confuse what's dangerous with what's scary. Nuclear power is scary because we wrongly associate it with nuclear weapons. Coal is actually dangerous. Nuclear power is a generational issue in the sense that my generation grew up terrified by nuclear weapons, hiding our heads under the desks. And Solomon's generation um, did not. They don't associate nuclear power with the threat of nuclear war, they associate it with the possibility of clean energy on the grid. Massachusetts is still going to be hit with the full impacts of climate change unless we solve the problem globally. We look at countries that have successfully decarbonized, like France and Sweden, that did this really quickly, and in France's case, just 15 years, fossil fuels out, nuclear power in. I didn't talk 
much about it with my environmentalist friends because they did not respond well to it. There would be awkward silences, breaks in the conversation, <laughs> change of subject, you know. There it is, the famous Vermont Yankee power plant of blessed memory. There it is. Yeah, and there's another one just like it in Pilgrim that's gonna close in a couple of months. Yeah. The last nuclear power plant in Massachusetts. It's gonna take out more clean power production in Massachusetts than all the wind, solar, and hydro ever built. Why, why would you close it down? It's not because of the taxpayers, the ratepayers, we're paying more for electricity. It's not because of the local community. They love their local nuclear power plant. It's they not love ice of... fishing in their nuclear power <laughs> plant. Really are. And I think, like, who benefits? Why are they closing these things down? And then it comes to me, it's the natural gas companies. So it's great for them, they make money, but for the environmentalists, you know, they're being had, they're being taken, and it makes me mad. People think that they're doing something good for the planet, and they're doing something terrible for the planet, replacing clean electricity with dirty electricity, flat out. And that's what I see looking at a closed plant like this.